I decided to get a new um, electrical meter, mostly because my uh, old Radio Shack model that I've had for decades, I've just been reading reviews and, on meters and stuff, and they said a lot of the cheap meters just aren't really that safe to work on 120 or 240 volts on them. Um, and some of the new meters have some new features that were kind of nice, so I ended up getting the Fleur DM. 92 Fleur, however you pronounce that, um, which seems like a pretty nice meter. I'm going to kind of give an overview of it and kind of one glaring problem that immediately became obvious and that the support guys have just kind of dropped and aren't really handling very well. Out of all the years I've had this meter, I don't think I've ever used the test diode mode. I usually use the uh, voltage or resistance. Um, that's about it, I think. Yeah, DC or AC, voltage and resistance. That's about all it does besides the uh, diode check. And uh, this isn't an auto range, so I have to set the ranges. And the continuity thing is nice with a little beep. This meter has an auto power off, which is really nice because I've left this meter on sometimes for days. But this meter is nice because it hardly uses any power. I've had the same batteries in it, I don't even know how long, for over 10 years. I've never replaced them, they don't ever go bad even when I forget and leave it on for days. But this is nice because it has uh, LED lights to, sh to light up your work if you need them. So that's nice, uses up more battery power. And then the meter uses up more battery power than my old one. And it also has a backlit display, which I'll show close up in a second. So you just set voltage, millivolts, ohms, or diode mode, and then you just change the mode for what, what you're testing here. An amperage, and I'm waving tell you it says probe if um, because to test the amperage, the probe isn't in the right thing, so now it's testing bridge. So that's kind of cool. These leads are nice, super flexible um, silicone leads, which is way nicer than the old PVC coated ones that harden up over the years. After I found the uh, diode problem, I looked more carefully on some of the videos and I had seen some of the comments did mention that, you know, hey, the diode mode doesn't work like they're saying. Um, I didn't notice that ahead of time. I wish I would have noticed that before I bought it because I just don't know how serious this is. They don't give an answer. I'm not enough of an electrical person to know does this actually test diodes correctly? Probably does. I just don't know. But all the other meters, all the other stuff I've looked at, they don't. They show the old method like the way this works. And the flu can, you know, all those work. But you test it one way, it shows the voltage, and you test it the other way, and it should say, like, you know, zero L or, you know, nothing. Um, and then you know that the diode, diode is good or not. <coughs> now, here's the diode that started this all. Let's test this with my old meter, which, like I said, I'm no expert at all this, but this is um, how I looked it up and how it works and how most of the meters seem to work. So you test it. And I'm getting 0 0.026. They say it should be between 0.4 and 0.9 volts. I think it's volts. So this is 0.6. So that's looking good on this regular diode. And if you test it the other way, You get nothing, which a lot of meters will just, mine displays like this, but a lot of them will say 0L. But again, back on this one, I'm getting 0.02, and if I swap the probes backwards, I should get the nothing again, just like as if I don't even hook them up at all. This is hard to get this on there. There we go. And I still get the same thing, 0.02. And this diet I know is what was causing my treadmill not to work. 
So I actually fixed the treadmill, which is pretty cool. To test it on this, I switch it to the diode mode. And so we'll test this good one first. 0.6, so that's good. If I switch the probes, it, according to the manual, it should say 0L, just like it shows now. But I got negative 0.6. See the minus sign here? Watch for that again. Which means your probes are reversed. Okay, so that's great. It's testing the diode in some way. But is it testing the reverse bias like it when I s switch these with the other meter to get nothing? Is it doing that like this? I don't know. The manual is completely wrong, so I, I just don't know. And the support people don't seem to know what they're talking about. They just keep telling me to read the manual, and I've read it many times. That's the problem, is the manual. So what's interesting on the bad diet is it says zero well. And if I flip the leads to the reverse, it's still zero L. So it is detecting the bad diode, but I wish I just had the, the manual to say, oh, this means this and that means that. And I, so I just don't know. This meter is nice because of the auto ranging. I can just set it to volts and measure voltage. It will even tell you if you know, AC or DC, it figures that out. It will even tell you how many hertz if it's AC, so that's kind of cool. Um, you can turn on the backlight if you need to see that. So that's nice. This one even has a temperature probe. I think it's a K-style temperature probe. Um, so that's kind of cool. 61 degrees in the shop. My finger is fairly cold, but so I just had it sitting on the table saw cast iron. Anyway, yeah, I know my finger's freezing. <laughs> but this is supposed to be able to go up to like 2,000 degrees or something like that. I'll put it in the description below because I don't remember. Here is a section of the manual that I'm having trouble with. It's on page 15 of the manual, right from. Uh, Fleur's website. So step four says, you know, touch the probes across the diode. Under test, make a note of the value. Five, reverse the polarity of the probes. Six, make a note of the new value on the display. And that's how most meters you tested a, di a diode. And number seven, if one of the readings displays a value between 0.4 and 0.9 volts, and the other reading displays 0L, well, the component is good. Well, that's how most meters work, but not the DM92. So basically, Fleur is just insisting that this manual is 100% correct, even though they sent me pictures of showing how the meter really works, which is what I've seen and what I showed you, which is not what this manual is describing. So basically, all the diodes on the planet are bad according to this. And I wish they would just get their support together and give me an answer, update the manual, some sort of reasonable thing. Overall I don't think this um, meter is a bad meter. I like all the features except for this diode test and I'm just hoping they'll update the manual and things will be better after that. Mainly I'm just trying to figure out um, do they just need to update the manual? Or is there something wrong with the meter? I mean, based on what I'm reading now, yeah, the meter doesn't work like the manual says, so what do they need to fix? It's one of the two. Their support people have told me to read the manual, which that's why I contacted them in the first place, because I read the manual and saw, wow, this doesn't match what the meter is doing at all. And after several emails back and forth, they finally agreed that, oh yes, 
the manual does not work like the meter does. And so they sent me to a tier three specialist, you know, and that took two weeks to get an answer back that, oh, that I should read the manual because the manual explains precisely how it works. And they gave me pictures and showed how the meter works, but not how the manual is stating. I'm getting the manual right from their website. So it's not like I have a copy of an old manual. So I'll keep you updated either in the comments below in the description section or um, possibly I'll come out with a new video when I get a resolution as to what is going on with this meter. Um, hit like and subscribe. Thanks a lot.